Hello everyone and welcome back to the lounge. I hope everybody's doing all right today. Before we get started, please be sure to tap on that subscribe button. Also click on the little barrel. The, the bell. Damn, John. Get it together. Uh, click on the bell and set your notifications. And uh, be sure to share this on Twitter, Facebook, or any other social site you might be a part of. So we're going to be responding to a YouTuber uh, that's talking about Etika. Um, you know, he he makes some good points. And he's not one of them that's out there, like, putting the blame on somebody. Or blaming this person or that person. Um, because that's not what it should, you know. It goes way beyond just a YouTuber, you know, picking. Um, from what I've gathered. And again, it's, you know, it's a horrible, horrible situation. Um, such a huge, unfortunate loss to the YouTube community and to his family. And again, our hearts go out to the family of Eticas. Um, this guy had a lot of talent, a lot of skill that some of us wish we had, you know. Um, he had a, you know, he had a huge fan base. Um, a fan base that I could only dream of getting, right? Um, like, it would take a miracle for me to get that. But, that's okay. Um, anyways, we're going to listen to this and do some responding to this. And uh, then get your guys' opinion on this as well. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, when it comes to Etika's other disasters, I kept quiet. Because... On a personal level, Desmond has been awesome with me. Um, we've DM'd on Twitter. He's been a really good guy. He's been supportive of my weight loss. He's been nothing but positive with me. I have never had anything bad personally. I know he's done some things that I don't agree with. Um, but on a personal level, he's been a great human being to me. And I'd be a liar if I said anything different. But I know ever since late last year he's had issues he had a youtube channel that was my god going through the stratosphere i mean he was gaining thousands of subs a day he probably would have been at like four or five million subscribers by now if he didn't lose the channel but for some reason he decided to stream porn on the channel and then he had an emotional breakdown and, and he was hospitalized and luckily he was okay then he went on twitch and he made a a slur on there and he lost his twitch channel and there's also other things that happened and while i was looking into his instagram live stream which i'll talk about in a second um that he threatened suicide just like two about two weeks ago mid-april and i don't know what's going on with him man but uh it all came to a head yesterday where he had I went through his Twitter right before I made this video, and it's all really nonsensical. Just continual streams of what seemed like thousands of tweets, and some people took it as he was going to harm himself. He had offensive tweets on there. I'm not going to go into details because, you know, good old YouTube, if you want to look them up, the tweets, well, no, that one tweet isn't still there, but I'll have articles below in the description if you want to check them out. And because of how off the wall he was, again, on Twitter, I guess people reported it to the police and wanted to do a wellness check on him. So the first thing, you know, like he said, there was a lot of people that, you know, uh, called the cops to do a well check on him. So we can't sit there and say that everybody was mean to Etika, that everybody was bullying Etika, that everybody was, you know, careless to, you know, his feelings and stuff like that. I just want to add that because there was a lot of people, a whole lot of people, going on and on that this person did it, that person did it, this person did it. There was also a lot of people that did care about what was going on with him. People that really did notice that something's going on. This isn't just for getting attention right he needed help he needed help and here is a little bit of footage 
of that Instagram stream. And boy, oh boy, did it end disastrous. Take a look. Dude, they bought a lot of people. They have a lot of people here now. They are about to take me out. Look at that thing. Why do you have that? They're trying to take me out. Look at that thing. For one dude. For one happy guy in his apartment. I'm a little scared right now. Can you understand? Yeah. I'm a little scared. I'm 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 really scared. I'm really, really scared. I'm really, really scared right now. Look, can you see me? Okay. 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 Here. Look, look, look. Okay. Turn around. Turn around, buddy. Okay. Now, other strange things happened. He started blocking people that he was close with on Twitter. He, I actually just saw too. He had an interview with Keem Star on Drama Alert, and you can watch it if you decipher anything from it. Godspeed to you because it made zero sense what he was saying there, and. I know a lot of people are thinking that he's doing this for publicity, but that just doesn't add up to me, man. I understand that people sometimes play 4D chess to make some interesting career moves, and any publicity is good publicity, but why? Let me explain why I'm saying why. Etika's YouTube channel was going through the stratosphere. There was a time his channel was smaller than mine and like my growth was like this and he just went bing and flew. He was, everyone was tuning into his live streams. He could, he didn't even have a schedule. He could just live stream whenever the hell he wanted to and there'd be like 30,000, 10, 20, 30,000 people watching. He was just doing phenomenal. What, why would he need to do this for a publicity stunt? Can you explain it to me? Because I don't get it. That's the thing I don't understand. Like, okay, I could see if his his channel was in disarray and his YouTube career was in disarray and he, he wanted to get eyes on him again. He didn't need it. His views were great. His YouTube videos got hundreds. He didn't do them that often. He did more live streaming towards the end. But his YouTube channel was doing phenomenal, whether he live streamed or made a, a regular pre-recorded video and uploaded it. So why would he need to do this for publicity? It doesn't make any sense. Now, you know why he lost his YouTube channel. For some reason, he decided that streaming porn was a good idea. And then he said a slur on Twitch. And he lost his Twitch channel. And But it, the whole he needed publicity just doesn't add up. It doesn't add up because he didn't need the publicity. Because people loved him. He was, at this point, probably going to be one of the top content creators on YouTube. And... He didn't need to do any of this to get eyes on him because he already had a ton of people subscribing to him, a ton of people watching him. So that makes zero sense. You know, sense. this guy is exactly right, you guys. I mean, I didn't watch Etika that much. And I didn't realize it, but Etika had actually came to the lounge before. One time. And I'm not using that as, oh, cool, we got, you know. I'm just saying, like, I didn't know him that well, so I didn't know, you know, a whole lot about him, but I've been doing a lot of research, a lot of research the last few days. This guy was really popular, and a lot of people really loved him. There was some that, you know, would sit there and try to, you know, make fun and all that, but that's that's normal. That's YouTube. There's... There's trolls everywhere you go. I don't care what channel. I don't care if it's Michael's, if it's Isaac's, if it's... It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Keemstar's, it does not matter where you go. They're all over. This guy was loved. So he definitely did not do this for attention. Obviously, we, we know that now. We know that. But... Where anybody would ever got that he was doing it for attention is just ridiculous. And and like this guy said, it makes absolute zero sense. None. None. The problem at the end of the day, the problem was he didn't get the help that he needed. And I still ask, 
why did the hospital let him go? And I guess maybe he passed the test saying he's all right. So unfortunate. Let's go ahead and listen more to what he's got to say. Now, a lot of people are going to say, Rich, when he got discharged from New York Presbyterian, he showed... Yeah, he, I think he did it on purpose. He showed all of his personal information. I'm obviously not going to show the picture here and, and put that personal information out there even more. But he showed his diagnosis. It was agitation. There's nothing wrong with him. Okay, maybe there's that off chance that there isn't, and he is doing this for publicity. But here is the thing. Whether you go to a psychiatric hospital or you go to see your primary care physician or any kind of medical or mental health professional, Okay, if I go in there and I'm having symptoms of whatever is hurting me or ailing me or whatever the case may be, and I don't tell the doctor my symptoms and I'm like, I'm doing all right. They may run basic generic tests, but if you don't tell them specifically what's wrong, they may never find it. And if Etika was not being cooperative, which he didn't seem like he wanted to be during where the police were at his door at his apartment, they may not find out exactly what's wrong with him because he may not be cooperative and they can't, you, you need to... When a doctor or a psychiatrist or psychologist or, or therapist, whatever the case may be, yes, they are professionals who can find and treat symptoms, but you also need to be cooperative so they can find out more about you to pinpoint diagnose you. You know, I'm glad that we're listening to this because that makes sense. And, you know, like he said, if he was, you know, he didn't want to answer the door when the cops were there. I mean, he was scared. You know, he, he straight said, I'm scared. I don't want to, I don't want to open the door. I'm, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. You know, and it, it's, these days, some cops can get really, really uh, slippery fingers when they start to panic or if they assume, you know, they make the wrong uh, assumptions that, oh no, he's getting ready to do something. Pow! done over right so it makes sense why he was scared too and it makes sense what this guy's saying because if he went to the hospital and he was like i'm fine i'm fine i'm fine no i'm not doing this i'm not doing that they're not going to find what it is that they're, they're you know that they're trying to find so that makes a lot of sense i really you know that makes a lot of sense that's a good point man and Very if you're not point. helping them do that, they may not be able to diagnose you properly and help you with, with whatever is ailing you, whether it be mental or a physical issue. So that may be why they just put agitation, because he may have not been trying to help them find out what's wrong. Look, my advice to Etika is really simple, man. It's really simple. As a person who myself who suffers with anxiety and depression. And I have, it's not a YouTube thing, okay? I'm not using the YouTube excuse because I've been dealing with anxiety since I've been as far back as I can remember, even as a kid, okay? It's something that I just, unfortunately, I was born with and it's, it's something I've dealt with my entire life. Is if you truly are going through something, Etika, and it isn't the fact that you're doing this for publicity, because I don't think you are, and I, 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 I don't think you are, and I hope you're not, because in the end, this is not going to end well for you, because you're just burning every bridge around you. But I don't think you're doing it for that, because again, it would make no sense to, because your your career was skyrocketing. You were going to be one of the biggest YouTubers possibly ever if you kept going on the on the track you were going before everything went crazy. If you truly are suffering Etika don't fight the help seek the help it does help okay find out what the cause of your problems are right look go to psychiatrists go to a mental health professional go to doctors learn what they can do for you okay I'm not all, I'm not all about prescribing medication but just because medications are over prescribed doesn't mean they shouldn't be prescribed at all and try whatever you can first without them. But if they don't work, maybe medication until you get your head right may be the, the choice to go. Because right now, things aren't looking good for you. Yes, everyone's talking about you. Yes, you trended on Twitter. But in the end, this is not going to end well for you, man. And I think you're an excellent human being. You've made mistakes. I don't agree with things that you've said in the past. But I know deep down you are a good person because I've talked to you on a personal level. And I don't want to see 
your career and your personal life implode because you're going through something right now. As a person who struggles with mental health issues myself, I understand and there's people out there that can help you seek the help. Don't fight it. You know, it's so daggone unfortunate. It it really is because maybe, maybe if Etika could have got this message, could have got this video in time, it could have changed everything. This is another YouTuber that cares about other YouTubers, that cares about other people, that has been through and is going through similar situations and was trying to reach out, but he just didn't get to him in time. And it's unfortunate. Super unfortunate. But I agree with everything that he said in his video. I think he's absolutely 100% right. Um, you know, there, there's still people saying that, uh, you know, even after what's happened, that that was just part of the game. And that is so ridiculous for people to say. The guy was a great guy. I mean, my research that I, you know, got from it, a lot of people really enjoyed Etika's videos. They, they really enjoyed this guy. You know, he was excellent company, and he made a lot of people laugh. It's these kind of people that make YouTube shine. I'm going to give a thumbs up to the guy that, you know, was trying to reach out, you know, was trying to help Attica in every way he knew how the best way he knew how I think that says a lot about your character my friend it says a lot about who you are and uh, I'm definitely going to go over and subscribe to this guy I got his info right here guys getting ready to uh, play it right after this go subscribe to him let him know that the lounge sent you over that way maybe he'll, you know, come over and join us, hang out with us. Another really good guy. The kind of people that, you know, we have in the lounge when we're just hanging out and chatting. Just down-to-earth people. Down-to-earth people. Good people. And uh, this is another good person. And uh, hopefully he will come and join us. If not, that's not what this is for. Um, I just wanted to... You know, point out that we do have, you know, really good people out there on the YouTube community. There are, you know, bad people and there are trolls and all that. But at the end of the day, there's a lot of good people out there. So let's give this guy a thumbs up. Go give him a subscribe. And uh, again, to the family of Vaticos, to friends, the YouTube community. Uh, our hearts go out to everybody that was a part of Etika's life. And we're super sorry. Super, super sorry. This is Rich at Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one. Hey everybody, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the subscribe button. Also click the bell next to it to be notified of all of my uploads. And if you want to come check out my live streams, I have a second YouTube channel called RTU Streams where I'll be streaming there quite a bit starting in April. I'll link to that below in the description as well. Thank you for the continued support and I'll see all of you 